gee, what a fucking surprise. A cool, drizzly, gray, yuck Monday here in the end times. It is 66 degrees at 3 o'clock in the afternoon here on Monday, August 19th, 2024, I believe. 60, now it has dropped to 64 degrees. We could be down in the 40s tomorrow night as uh, all of this talk about uh, this great heat wave taking over the planet. Uh, but anywho's, uh, so, guys, uh, it, have we just sunk completely, irretrievably down into the Marana scene? So here's how my, uh, my day, or I guess my week, uh, started. So the, uh, the check-in time at Bugs in a Jar Farm is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 3 o'clock in the afternoon and people are always whining including one of the people to, that, to, to get let in early and stuff and uh, so I try to accommodate people so but, but it, it, it's clear that the check-in time is 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I also make it 100% clear that the absolute check-in time is 11 p.m. I spell it out. I do it numerically. I, I, I talk about, you know, I need my damn sleep. Don't be showing up here at midnight. I send these people this very nasty worded email. Don't you show up here past 11 p.m. So I'm out there, I, I, I'm just getting out of bed on this rainy ass morning. I'm in my goddamn bathrobe uh, with the damn coffee in the French press. Haven't even had my coffee. And I hear some horn honking outside and I go, what the fuck? So uh, I, I head out there and there's this uh, young woman sitting in the car what she is she is a cornell graduate student okay, okay so this this young woman a graduate student at an ivy league college and i go out there and, and i say can i help you she goes well she goes i'm here to check in to my uh, tiny house and i said what are you talking about uh, she she goes well. She goes. You knew I uh, I was coming, and, and I said, darling, I said check in time is three p.m. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, more than six hours from now. And she goes well. She goes. It was a little bit uh, confusing uh, about the check in time. Uh, about how that I absolutely could not check in here after 11 o'clock. And, uh, and, and, and I said for one thing, uh, 11 o'clock even is more than two hours. And I said, but, uh, I said, but darling, that is 11 o'clock p.m. That you, the check-in hours are between three and 11. And uh, she just goes, oh, uh, 11 p.m. Now I get it, and I'm going, yeah. And, and I say, give me a, give me an hour, and uh, you, you can check in. So uh, that's how I start my day. Then I go and I open up the mainstream media. I do not believe it. Do we have a ray of sunshine for the first time in like five days in the Finger Lakes of New York? So I go on the mainstream media, and of course I just ignore all of that clueless fucking moron shit about the uh, the Democratic uh, National Convention. Uh, good Lord, uh, I think the number one headline, five things to not miss 
at the Democratic convention this week. Yeah, uh-huh. But the third biggest story, so I skipped over that, the third biggest story on the planet, not that it means anything to anyone who lives in the Finger Lakes of New York, the title was How to See Tonight's Supermoon. How to See Tonight's Supermoon, colon, Where and When to Look at the Moon. And I'm thinking to myself, have we really reached this point that you have to go on the mainstream media to find out to how, where, and when to look at the fucking moon. Long article. How to look at the moon. Where to look at the moon? You know the the sky uh, would be my uh, would be my first choice, but uh, I, I don't know. Maybe some people, maybe they look in their closet for the moon. Uh, you, you know what? What are the fucking choices to look for the fucking moon? When to look for the full moon? When to look for the full moon? Ah, uh, well, I mean, I, I, I admit, I, you know, I'm almost 65 years old, and I've been to college, so maybe this was uh, for Cornell graduate students to explain, you look for, for the fucking moon in the nighttime, okay? How to look at the moon. Assuming it is not raining, where you live so as long as you don't live in the Finger Lakes of New York what you do is you walk outside at night and you look up in the sky and you will see the moon and, and, and I'm thinking okay uh, I, I, I'm trying to follow this somewhere there was an editor who, who sent out a, a reporter to report on how to look at the fucking moon and 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 uh, and then Yahoo News picks it up from the wire service makes it the third biggest story on the planet how to look at the fucking moon and uh, I, I, I said god damn it uh, I, I said what in the fuck has this planet come to uh, then I'm of course I'm sure there was some story about someone taking a fucking selfie and getting hit by a fucking train uh, Jesus so uh, I get interrupted with that that I get my Monday morning update from uh, the, these motherfuckers at this computer uh, place down in uh, Atlanta where I've been working for one month trying to get a fucking laptop computer and they want to update me uh, 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 on the fucking progress of my computer. I really wish, I really wish to fuck I had had my camera running. When, when, when this clueless fucking moron starts uh, starts launching in to the update on where the fuck my second computer is <laughs> it was it it, 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 it it really was the most classic uh, conversation I have ever had with a customer support uh, operation you know this is this fucking uh, premium laptops uh, these guys on eBay with the 100% seller rating with 2,600 reviews uh, I, I told him he was ready to lose his fucking 100% fucking seller rating uh, it was getting ready to fly out the fucking window uh, if I ever get this fucking computer and then he was trying to blame it, and, 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 and not completely incorrectly, uh, saying that, well, a lot of this problem has to do with those clueless fucking morons at UPS, which is true. 
I, I said, dude, I'm not arguing uh, that you're not the only fucking moron in this equation. Uh, but, but between you and those fucking clueless fucking morons at UPS, am I ever getting this second fucking computer? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. So anyway, I am heading into, uh, hopefully I can find a, uh, a post hole digger, uh, at Habitat for Humanity. I've got three more post holes to dig for my blackberries, and, uh, I've been basically using a one-armed post hole digger. <coughs> oh <Ugh>, fuck. <coughs> anyway, what is going to be my next adventure in the Marana scene? I can only imagine how long I need to wait before I encounter the fourth moron of the fucking day. There is plenty of time still left in this day, even without uh, turning on the convention for a convention of clueless fucking morons. But I do want to give credit where credit is due, and I do want to, seriously, uh, three cheers for Planned Parenthood uh, handing out free IUDs and vasectomies outside of the Democratic National Convention. So, uh, I guess we'll have fewer limp dick lefties to vote for little clueless fucking greenies in the future. Thank you, Planned Parenthood, for uh, handing out free vasectomies and IUDs to uh, try to stem the rising tide of fucking morons on this planet. Ugh, fuck. Alright. I'm back to look for my PhD, otherwise known as my post hole digger. I can tell people I have a PhD in post hole digging. Bye guys. <laughs>